himself from the dust. Arise, sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O, ca o captive daughter of Zion. And there's so much you can talk about on this, but we're not going to today. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye have been redeemed without money. For thus saith the Lord God, my people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrians oppressed them without cause. <laughs> now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught? They that rule over them, make them to howl, saith the Lord, and my name continually, every day, is blasphemed. But verse 6 is what I want to focus on okay. today. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Hallelujah. Do you know his name today? Yes, yes. The, therefore, my people shall know my name. Yes. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Hallelujah. Behold, it is I. Yes, yes. It is I. So for a few moments, I would like to talk to you with, on the subject when God takes the witness stand. Come on now. When God takes the witness yes, stand. Lord. So, Father, we thank you for your word. We pray that your word will go forth with power and with demonstration. Let it break in pieces. Lord, those things that are holding us back, Father, we send your forth word to heal and to deliver. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Glory, glory. How many here have ever been to court? <laughs> Not for yourself, because everyone here loves the Lord, and we would never break the law, right? Uh, but how many have ever been to court for someone that you love or for a friend, right? Uh, yes. Being before a judge or a jury can be very intimidating. Yeah. Your life, your property, your finances, your future could all be on the line. And one person's decision can change your life forever. Come on, Bishop. In these times, in these cases, you put everything into the hands of your attorney. Yeah. Right. And it is their job to argue your case. Yeah. Lawyers would then present evidence to show your guilt or your innocence. And at times, witnesses to testify for or against you. A witness is a person who sees a event, typically a crime or an accident, take place. To be present as someone who signs a document or gives their signature to a document. You have an alibi witness, a witness upon whom a criminal defendant relies in establishing an alibi. A character witness, a witness who testifies as to the character or reputation especially of a criminal defendant. A witness who gives character and evidence. A expert witness. An expert witness is a witness as a medical specialist who by virtue of special knowledge, skill, training, or experience is qualified to provide testimony to aid the fact finder in matters that exceed the common knowledge of ordinary people. Yes. A material witness, a witness whose testimony is necessary for trial and whose presence may contain, right. be secured by the state by subpoena, custody, or recondence. Prosecuting witness, a witness as the victim of a crime yeah. whose own allegations initiate the prosecution yeah. of the defendant. Oh, I'm going God. somewhere. A rebuttal witness. Come a on. Witness called upon to rebut evidence already presented. And while I would like to believe that everyone here, as the church of the living God, has each other's back. Mm. <laughs> and Bishop, we need somebody that will have our back. Yeah. Come on. Somebody that will have your back, that yeah. will protect oh, yeah. you from yeah. being stabbed in the back. <laughs> that, or might, that might protect you from being stabbed. Or that might pull the knives out from your back. Oh, but we Come on. people that will have our backs. Yeah. But I'm here Come to on. tell you today that someone has your back. Mm. Someone's got your back, church. Yeah. There is recording in God's word of, it, of a event in which one man stood trial. The Bible says he was oppressed right. and he was afflicted, yes. yet he opened not his mouth. Mm. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. Oh, so he Lord. opened yes. not his mouth. Right. He was taken yeah. from prison and from judgment. Jesus. And who shall declare?
spare this generation. For he was cut off, off of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made, and he made his grave with the wicked yes. and with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence and neither was there any deceit in his mouth. This lets us know that sometimes you make mistakes. And you have to pay for those mistakes. That's right. Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes we make mistakes. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, even the innocent stand trial. Mm -hmm. How many feel like you're always standing trial? Come on now. And you're always going through a test. Yes. Come on. Whatever you go, oh wherever you go, whatever you do, mm -hmm. you're always standing before people. You're always standing trial. Mm -hmm. It can yes. get tiresome. It can get draining. That you're always on trial. Yes, this story always lets us know that sometimes you see evidence in your case that points one direction. But yet people don't care about the evidence. Sometimes there's a vendetta or a alternative agenda at play. And finally the story tells us sometimes you just have to hold your peace. Uh, sometimes Come on. there's nothing you can do in your own power. Sometimes you just have to stand still to see the salvation of your God. Hallelujah. While we miss occasion, he did not speak. He could have. He could have called to 10,000 angels. And God would have answered. You know, and he would have had deliverance right then and there. While we miss occasion, he did not speak. We serve a God who loves to speak. He loves to talk. He loves to testify of himself. At his word, at his word, he created the heavens and the earth. At his word, he created all creation. Come on. At his word, he said, let there be light, and there was light. God loves when it seems all is lost, all is dark, to show up and show who he is. Oh, yes. At his word, the winds and the sea obey. At his words, demons have to go. At his word, he, he healed the sick. At his word, he raised the dead. At his word, he spoke and the soldiers fell backwards. There was no man that spoke like this man. Glory. Hebrews 12 and 1 says, Wherefore, see, we are also compassed by whispers of the great crowd of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Come on now. For the joy that was set before him, endure the cross. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yes. The cross. Yeah. So we're going to have a cross, too. Yeah. And if they hated him, yeah. they're going to hate us. Oh, yeah. But despite Come on. And it's set down at the right hand of the throne of God. The Amen. Lord brought me here today to let you know that it's testimony time. <laughs> it's testimony time. Amen. I grew up in a church where they would stand popcorn testimony and they would say, I thank God that I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Amen. Holy Ghost. Yes. <laughs> yes. But I believe that it's testimony time that not only are we going to give God praise, but God's going to start speaking on our behalf. Oh, yes. God's Come on now. Hallelujah. Yes, I grew up in church where we had testimony service. This time, instead of the church speaking, God is going to take the witness stand for his people. We are troubled on every side. Yes. Yet uh -huh. distressed. Yeah. We are perplexed, Ooh. but not in despair. Yes. Persecuted, yes. but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Yes. Whatever Come on now. you are facing today, let me encourage you today that God is taking yeah. the witness stand. Oh, he is getting the last word. Oh, yes, he is. When the children of Israel were in bondage and had nobody to speak on their behalf, yes. God sent Moses. Yes. God was the burning bush. Yes. He said, and God said unto Moses, I am that I am. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. I am that I am. Yes. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. My God. Come on. It seemed like there was nowhere to go. Their backs were up against the wall. Yes, Pharaoh and his army were the judge, jury, and executioner. Mm. But God said, not so fast. I'm taking the witness stand. He told Moses, the enemies that you see today. You will not. The enemies that you see today, you will see no more. Yeah. You see, God later tells them, 
But if you carefully obey his voice and do yes, all Lord. that I say, yes, then I will be an enemy to uh, your enemies. You, Come on now. Adversary Lord, to your Lord. adversaries. Yes, Lord. And pursue where you are going. The easiest distraction is who's against you. It's easy to put emotional and physical energy into your enemies. Someone will neglect those who are clapping to study those that aren't. Mm. But God needs to deliver some people from yes. giving attention to your adversaries. Oh I will oh. be an enemy to your enemy. As long as you obey him, you have no successful enemies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't have any enemies. They are his enemies. If you are fighting, oh, yes. him, Come on. You are fighting him, yeah. I have no successful enemies. As long as I'm obeying God, I have no enemies. Oh, I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to respond to it. I have no successful enemies. I'm not going to retaliate. I have no successful enemies. Yeah. No successful enemies. Yeah. I don't care what they say. Oh. I don't care what they post. I have no successful yeah. enemies. Yeah. Lord, they trust the plan of the devil. I used to have enemies, but I don't know more. Why? Because what's your because God have because they are now God's enemy. What's your response, Bishop? I have no successful enemies. Enemies. No What's your official yeah. statement? Huh? I have no successful enemies. Yes. You're not going to distract me no more. Lord. Your issues with me are your problem. God said he would be an enemy to my enemy. Yeah. He would be an adversary to those who oppose me. Yeah. My enemies are the business of God. Yeah. And, but I have no successful enemies. Mm -hmm. David said the Lord is my light. Yes. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Come on. Come on now. The Lord is the strength of my life. And whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come and upon me to eat up my flesh, they stop on Come on now. Preach it. Against me. My heart shall not fear. The Lord yeah. rise against me. And this will I be part of it. One thing I have to desire of the Lord. That I will seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Yes. All the days of my life. To be Come on. To the beauty of the Lord. And to inquire in his temple. Yes, for in the time of trouble. For in the time oh, of trouble, yeah. he shall hide me in the pavilion. Yes. In the secret of his tabernacle, hallelujah, uh -huh. shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted above my enemies round about me. Therefore, will I offer in this tabernacle sac sacrifice of joy. Come on, Bishop. Yay, I will sing praises. Yes, Unto the Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I will have no successful enemy. Yes, Lord. Though a life of hard work and obedience to God, mm -hmm. Daniel had risen through the political ranks as the administrator of his pagan kingdom. Yes, Lord. In fact, Daniel was so honest and hardworking that the other government officials, those who were jealous of him, could find nothing against him to cause him to be removed from office. Mm. <laughs> so they tried to use Daniel's faith in God against him. Hello. They tricked King Darius into passing a 30-day decree, an unconstitutional law, uh, that said anyone who prayed to another god or man other than the king would be thrown into the lion's den. Daniel learned of the decree, but did not change his habit. Come on. He did not change his posture. Just as he had done his whole life, he went home, knelt down, faced Jerusalem, and prayed to God. Lord. The wicked administrators caught him in the act and told the king, King Darius, who loved Daniel, tried to save him, but the decree could not be revoked. The Mercedes and Persians had a foolish custom that once a law was passed, even a bad law could not be repealed. My, my, my. But God was getting ready to take the witness stand. And Daniel would go on to say, My God sent his angel and shut the mouths of the lions. Come on. He had not hurt me yes. because I have was found innocent in the sight of God. Nor have I done any wrong before you, O my King. God. God took the witness stand for Daniel. Yes, 
Jesus. Yes, he did. And he will take the witness day for you when you do what's right. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Nebuchadnezzar had a huge golden image built as a symbol of power and glory. He then commanded his people to bow down and worship the image whenever they heard the sound of his musical herald. How many times do we bow down to music? You know, Bishop talked about it. When the phone goes off, we bow down to it. God help us. But anyways, those who disobeyed the order will be thrown into the immense blazing furnace. Mm-hmm. Shadrach, Meshach, and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, however, worshipped only the one true God, uh, and they refused to bow down to the false idol. They were brought before Nebuchadnezzar to face their faith, but remained courageous in the face of the king's demand to bow down before the golden statue. They said, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. It is be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Come on. But if not, <laughs> if not, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. You see, Christians, most Christians, are loyal to God as long as he shows up. As long as God shows up, Teach it. I'll be loyal to him. I'll show up for church when he shows up for me, right? Uh, as long as he shows up, as long as the bills are paid, That's good, Bishop. as long as my health is good, as long as my marriage is strong, mm. or the church is growing, or I get to preach, uh, loyalty to God, the church, or God's priesthood shouldn't be based on if they support my way of life or my beliefs. They say, whether he shows up or not, uh, we will come on. Uh, that's called what you call character. Uh huh. Called character, and he commanded the most might, the most mighty men that were there in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound to the coats and their hose and their hats and their other garments, and they were cast into the midst of the burning, the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, king, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot. The flame of fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the fiery furnace. They went and bound, okay? Sometimes it's good that they can see that you're bound. <laughs> they can see what you're going through. So that when you come out, <laughs> that when you come out. Oh my, you know, come on now. What's the hey, word? hey. That you're not just talking something, but what you went through was real. Uh huh. Why that you're going to live, you deserve uh, because you listen to God, you obey God. People love to talk about your business, true or untrue. They'll just make up stuff. Uh-huh. Come on. The Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? Yeah. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose. Tell your neighbor this is the last time you're going to see me like this. <laughs> Come on. The last time you're going to see me. Did we not cast them in loose? The fire was so hot. They burned the bounds. And that's all it burned. <laughs> God is good, ain't he? Hey, this is the last time you're going to see me like this. Some of you may be faking it until you make it right now. Have you ever done there? Take it till you make it. Jesus. But I believe that it's time that we faith it <laughs> until we take it. It's time that we faith it until we take it. Come on now. Hallelujah. Faith it until you take it. I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire. Four men. When God takes the witness stand, he decides to bless you mm. and speaks on your behalf. Mm. Your enemies will think that their eyes are playing tricks. <laughs> mm. They will think that their eyes are playing tricks. How are they surviving with all this stuff that they are going through? All the stuff that we put them through. There is something that should have killed them, but yet there's no hurt on them. Malo. He said, but walking in the midst, there was no hurt. And the form of a fourth is like the Son of God. A whole other, 
a whole other thing to debate is how do they know that was the uh, Son of God? A pagan nation. <laughs> they didn't know who God was. Oh, and by the way, King, there's a fourth one in the fire with them. Isaiah chapter 43 says, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. Fear not, true yeah. light, and the house of holy yes, church. Yes, yes, fear, fear, fear not. Yes. For I have redeemed thee. Oh. Uh-huh. Call thee by thy name. Yes. Yes. And thou art mine. mine. Come on. The pastors, mm-hmm. you're not the bishops, you're his. Yes. Yes. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. Uh-huh. And through the rivers, mm-hmm. they shall not overflow glory, thee. Glory. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Oh and neither God. shall the flame kindle upon thee. Uh-huh. Church, I believe that we are also at the Mount Carmel moment. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. We are yes, sir. At the Mount Carmel moment. Yes, sir, we are. He asked the question, why halt ye between two opinions? My Lord. Uh-huh. And the church is going to have to make a decision who they're serving. Yes. Because it's going to get worse out there and God needs a bride. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Hey. Yes. Glory. Yes. But we are at a Mount Carmel moment. It said, and it came to pass when midday was past that they prophesied unto the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice yes. that there was neither voice nor any to answer nor any that regarded that's how a lot of churches are. <laughs> they think they have a patent on the power of God, on the glory of God, but yet God's not going to show up for them. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day. Father, take the written stand. Glory, glory. Let it be known this day. Yes, yes, Lord. That thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, that I have done all these things at thy word. (laughs) Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, that thou hast turned their heart back again. And then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice, and the wood and the stones and the dust and looked at the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, He is the God. Come on now. Hey! He is the Lord. He is the God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Talk about revival. Thank you, Lord. Talk about revival, church. When the fire comes, yes. I'm asking God that He'll send the fire oh, to the yes, church. Yes. That He'll send the fire to our council. Yes. That He'll send yes. the fire to our state. Yes. That He'll send the fire to the White House. Yes. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, God. That's the Lord. That's the Lord. Elijah said to them, Take the prophets of Baal, let, none of them, let not one of them escape. Yes. And they took them, and Elijah brought them down to the brook of Kishon and slew them there. And Elijah said, and they have, get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of the mud. When you have a Mount Carmel moment, uh-huh, and God comes down and answers, uh-huh. then you then you hear the sound of the abundance of rain. Mm. Jesus was told that his friend was sick. He said, he let him die. He waited four days. Martha said, if you would have been here, my brother would have still been alive. Uh-huh. Jesus said, your brother is going to live again. That's the word. She said, I know he will. Uh-huh. The resurrection. Jesus said, oh, so you're one of those people that believe that the resurrection is a date on the calendar. Mm-hmm. Or a place in time. Or something in the future. But he said, but I'm here to testify <laughs> to you that I am the resurrection. Uh-huh. That the resurrection is a person. <laughs> I am the resurrection. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I am the life. Yes, Come on. Yes. Me, so he who are dead shall yes. live again. Yes. Mary comes out and says the very same thing, but her posture is different. Mm-hmm. She falls down at his feet. He doesn't offer a proclamation, but he offers a demonstration. Come on now. Hey. Proclamation. I want a demonstration. Oh we need a demonstration. Come on now. Show me where you laid him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, the death certificate was already been printed. The verdict had already been decided. Mm-hmm. Death had come. But Jesus took the witness stand. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps you are here today and you feel like all is lost. 
God, you are four days late. But I want you to know that Thank he is Lord. still right on time. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Oh, glory. Yes. Hallelujah. The Bible says that tribulation worketh patience, yes. and patience worketh experience, mm. and experience worketh hope. Hope maketh not ashamed. Yes, Sometimes when we are experiencing tribulation, we don't know what that means. Mm. We feel uncomfortable, mm. uh, but let it work itself out. Uh, the trying of your faith maketh patience. Let patience have her perfect work. Yes, that you may be wanting nothing. Patience is going to create an experience in you of God's delivering power, his healing power. When you experience it, it will give you hope. Hope for every future yes, trial Lord. and crisis. Mm -hmm. Hope maketh not a shame, uh. meaning you will never regret putting your faith in God. Uh. They will mock us for putting our hope in God. But when the smoke clears, our testimony will be, I trusted in the Lord. Yes, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Yes, in Lord. all thy ways acknowledge him, and he, and he shall direct thy path. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. If you will stand with me today, I want you to know that Jesus is not going to come back after a dead church. Come on now. He's not going to come back for a beat down bride. Come on. But he's coming back riding on the clouds of glory because he hears the sound of victory in the camp. I am tired of hearing the sound of defeat in the camp. Part of the problem of a territory in Toledo's horrible is that it is used to the status quo. That when there is a battle over a territory, it produces a hostility in the air, trying to make people opposed to the very thing that they need. Where there is not an atmosphere, where there is a no in the atmosphere, you must put a yes. The Bible says that life and death are in the power of the, of the tongue. tongue. Come on. And if God is a speaking God, we got to be a speaking church. Come on now. we got to be a speaking church and we're speaking life on, into every situation that's dead. Come on. I'm hey. tired of seeing a dead church. Come on now. We speak to the hospital in Deacon Green. Yes. We send his angels. Yes. Come on. Just raise your hand. Hallelujah. You heard the word today. 